We meet Kiroche's Tabitha Karanja at her home on the outskirts of Nairobi. Today, she's hosting her 26-year-old daughter, also now an entrepreneur, Annalisa Mungai, for lunch. <coughs> As she serves her giveri, potatoes and green vegetables, we see that behind these closed doors, Tabitha takes off her CEO shoes and becomes a mother, a wife and a homemaker. Here you have food. The mother of four, two girls and two boys, believes that success first starts at home and for one to be truly happy, your family must first be a happy family. Family is everything. Because after we do all what we do, at the end of it, we will create wealth, we will create money. But at the end of it, what you, people will look back, what you did, is about creating a good family. Because it's the foundation of anything that you ever live. Family is everything. Her home is crisp and extremely fashionable. Her dining room, a sanctuary for her family. We're keen to find out more about her husband who wasn't home at the time. Tabitha keeps her family life very private, but after a little prodding, she lets us in to her life. So you're planning a Thanksgiving lunch for your husband on Saturday. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, because I've seen uh, the special support he's given me to be where I've reached now. I need to celebrate him. I need to honor him. And together with him, I'm also doing it with the other special men mm -hmm. that have also shown the support of uh, women in this country. Yeah. Because if we do that in Kenya, across Africa, we'll change the world yes. to become, make it into a better place. Uh, we know our culture. Most women they have to stay at home. And in case they are seen that they want to do something to unleash their full potential and all that, some of the men try to bring the women back. But with my husband, Mr. Karanja, has given me all the support to go on. And any time I even succeed, I can see he's always very happy to see me reaching even to the maximum. Today, Tabitha is perhaps Kenya's leading female entrepreneur, now running a million dollar business. But just what was her childhood like? I was brought up in a normal family. Uh, my mom, a normal farmer, farmer. My father was employed as a driver with the, with the, with the government. And, but he, they were able to educate us to uh, wherever one wanted to reach. So, uh, and then, of course, having that ritual, you take advantage of any opportunity that you get. So when we went to school, waste no time. And then we managed to emerge, maybe some of us, like uh, people who passed in uh, those uh, curriculum, whatever, as we may say. Today, Tabitha Karanja celebrated as an entrepreneur, CEO and industrialist who broke an 80-year monopoly by brewing giants such as Diageo and SRB Miller by identifying a market that was underserved and sometimes ignored by brewing giants. Having gone to do the research in the market, we found there was a gap in the liquor market. And this time, it was in the lower market where people were neglected to drink whatever was available. So we thought, why don't we come up with a drink that is hygienic, uh, uh, pro, I mean affordable, and that meets international standard? Mm -hmm. Because any time you're thinking of manufacturing, you must always think of global, uh, that you become co globally competitive. I asked Tabitha what kept her going through the very public tension between Kiroche and the giant brewers. Some of the challenges were needed to be uh, proven that whatever smear campaigns that is being done to me were not true. Because if I let them at that, it would mean that any other Kenyan to try to do something, people always relate on. Like you now if you are told that the products you are making are killing, you have to prove to Kenya that they are not killing. Because if you ever give up, if any other Kenyan, my children, whoever will come up and produce something, they'll be told, you want to kill us like the way Tabitha did. So we had to prove that this all these lies because of the future of the com coming generations. In many ways, Tabitha Karanja has not only paved the way for many other female entrepreneurs in Kenya and across the continent, but she continues to set the bar even higher. This year, she was awarded the prestigious African Woman Entrepreneur of 2014 by Forbes Africa. It means that the market is now open to go across Africa. So for me, what I'm thinking with the expansion that is coming up, 
uh, we'll see more of Kerochi now across Africa, on the continent, yeah, in the market, yeah, in Africa. Kerochi is currently undergoing an upgrade and expansion of its breweries to boost production. The current state of the art factory produces 10,000 bottles of gin and ready-to-drink vodka and 15,000 bottles of beer every hour. There are more than 10, there are more than 20 challenges, and they're all big, they've been big challenges, but they've made us a land. With the success of Keroche, Annalisa, Tabitha's daughter, was keen on getting into her own business, and she decided to set up Executive Water, targeting the high end of the market. In the beginning, her mother wasn't keen on it. She has inspired me a lot. From when uh, we've grown up, she has showed me how to just work for yourself and depend on your own, you know? And I thought of something, I wanted to package something, but I didn't know what it was. Then I asked mom if I could start <laughs> something like water, and uh, she said, she put me down first, she said, water is too much. And separately, we asked Tabitha why she wasn't supportive in the beginning. After she finished school, uh, she came in, I thought she would come and join and start working in the Kiroche. But uh, she wanted to prove also that uh, she also went to school, did this. She's a marketer. And she can also uh, introduce her own brand and put it in the market. And then I told her, why don't you introduce and bring it to Kiroche? It becomes one of the brands. She told me, no, if we put it near Tabitha, everybody would think <laughs> that it's Tabitha who did it. I want at least people to know that I also have a brain and I can do something. And I'm very proud of her. And I can say, even I didn't support her journey. Even as being a, the well-known entrepreneur in this country, I was really telling her, no, no, don't jam. If it's water, there's so much water in the market. Why do you think that you can make it? And then finally she told me, no, give me space. I bring up the product. And you've seen, I'm sure you've seen the product. It's beautiful. Her strong-willed daughter, however, pressed on and Executive Water was launched in 2013. Um, then I asked around and they told me there are about 700 companies that package water. And I thought, what next? So I thought, let me start with something different. Because I thought there is, everyone packages almost the same. But I thought maybe if I start something different, then maybe I will get the customers that I want and, you know, and people will like the brand. Annalisa today runs the business employing 20 people directly and about 30 others indirectly. She believes her mother's change of heart when she eventually set up gave her the momentum she needed to grow. After a certain age of uh, a person, let's say 20 years, 2100, this person is supposed to become independent. This person is so if they bring an idea, you're just supposed to encourage it and support it. Because those are the future leaders of tomorrow. But when you try to protect them, we will make them not become those readers that we are looking for. Then when our times comes, we are gone. We have no, looking back, we have no those readers. Mm -hmm. So we parents, they support our children. Let's give them that, uh, that space also to exercise mm -hmm. what they learn from school and whatever. And then remember the jobs, they are not jobs. So all what we need to work on is to change people um, thinking of uh, job seekers to job creators. Mm -hmm. we Mother and daughter today have lots to talk about, and Lisa says her mother is her first stop when she needs any business advice. My mom has been everything to me. She has inspired me like everyone else. And I'm lucky because I'm with her every day. I work with her every day. First, even before I didn't say this, I started working in the office with her and learning so much from her. About a year later, Tabitha is proud that her daughter finally found her footing and wishes she supported her earlier and has a word of advice to parents of young entrepreneurs. We parents, they support our children. Let's give them that, uh, that space also to exercise what they learn from school and whatever. And then remember, the jobs, they are not jobs. So all what we need to work on is to change people um, thinking of uh, job seekers to job creators. And early this year, Tabitha set up the Kiroche Foundation to help mentor young entrepreneurs. The 18 years that I've uh, been supported by Kenyans to be where I am, I thought that 18 experience, that 18 year experience, I've gained out of building Kiroche. I give it back to the upcoming 
entrepreneurs because that's the only way I can do. And I've realized that it's not about uh, money, but we need a lot on the support. The support, that's what we require most. So if I can give a hand to any upcoming entrepreneur and he succeeds, I think that will be my joy. She's the best mom, to be honest. Um, she's hard working. One thing I love about her is that when we come to the house, she doesn't talk about business. She just stops, like she just acts like a mom. Because I've been around her, even in the office. She just, if it's office, we talk about business. We come to the house, it's about, it's about um, family, yeah. Tabitha Karanja today is among Kenya's most astute businesswomen who, even with her astounding success with Kiroche, what for many is really admirable is how she continues to manage her work and home balance with so much grace. Terri-Ann Chibet, Newsmakers.